defense can do. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It'll go as a pickup of 14 and a Washington first down. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I love one of the quotes that I read about him where he said of himself, I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry them along. They go play action now. Haskins, it'll buy some time right. Connects here with a tight end, Jeremy Sprinkle. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. A Redskin first down, the pick up 15 yards. Back now at FedEx Field. 13 all our score as we start quarter number four. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Here's Geis. And he's swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. Fletcher Cox there for the tackle. Again, they run again. It's Geis. That second down run, a big help. The seven yards leaves him with just a third and three now. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah. And this is taken in for a Redskins touchdown. Steven Sims, 36 yards. And they are able to break the tie and move out in front here in this fourth quarter. Well, Charles, you said it after the fourth down stop. That's almost guaranteed points the other way, and that comes to fruition with a touchdown. Well, the unnecessary risk did come back to haunt them, didn't it? End up getting those points that I predicted that they were going to give up because it's guaranteed points if you don't make that play. From the gun, it's Haskins. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Able to get there and pick it. And he is going to be stopped on the return at his own three-yard line. Well, as most teams do in their two-point attempt, they pass the ball. Instead, it gets intercepted. And remember, if you pick it off, you got a chance to take it all the way back, get two points yourself, right? Yeah, not the case here. That's why you got to be really careful with those throws, especially to the outside. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Now Wentz. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. An ideal beginning of the drive there as they'll get 20 and a first down. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. Shotgun now for Wentz. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. He was trying to get it to Zach Ertz that time, and that'll bring up second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Here's Wentz to throw. Now they go screen. It's complete. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line, tackled there. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Redskins 40. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. Five. on the catch there, brings up second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Wentz off the fake handoff to Howard. Caught by the tight end, Ertz. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. The battle in the trench is never more important than right now. This is third and inches. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. 
And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. Five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Yeah, he had to run the ball at all on this drive, but third and short, definitely was a great time to dial one up. A good pick up there of 22. They'll look to throw toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. This defense so strong all afternoon long, well executed again there. This is a group that really functions well off of each other. No matter what the assignment, the other person fills in in the exact proper spot. They've made it very, very hard for them to find open places to throw the football. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. Back to throw. And that is caught. It's Aguilar for the Eagle touchdown. A three-yard touchdown pass as they are now just an extra point away from taking the lead here in the final two minutes. Now they can boot it through on the always important extra point, and then their defense has to hold up their end of the bargain. And there's something that you've pointed out in numerous games that we've worked. Okay, the excitement's going on. Everyone's celebrating over there. Who's calling up the defense to make sure they're focused because they still have some work to do? And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. So here's Haskins and the Redskins. Down 20 to 19, a little under a minute to go. And they need about 35 yards to get in range for a winner as they come up on first down. Forced out to his left. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Ronald Darby that time, the one who got a hand in and knocked it free. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Haskins. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. 17 yards that time at a Washington first. now going to use the first of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. Second down pass play got him eight yards. Now they've got a third and a couple remaining. to throw. Looks to throw, fires right side. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free and it's fourth down. Fourth down now and defensively, Charles, you know, they're just asking this crew for one more stop. And you know that they're feeling the momentum right now, but they have to be very careful not to get over exuberant, over excited and blow an assignment and give up the big first down. Here we go with Geis. Well, he will have a first down here at about the 40. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go.
The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Delay of game, offense. And that'll set them back five. Come on, fellas. Still first down. The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. He's going to let it fly. And he's across for the touchdown, and it's likely the game winner here in the closing stages. Might be seeing that one on the highlight shows tonight. The home run ball here in the fourth quarter to take the lead. There's nothing like being aggressive, preaching that to your team, and then following through all the way through. Go ahead and throw one more up there. Why not? Been a great game, and we are not done yet. Now the Redskin offense will stay out there and go for two. Haskins and he can't get a throw off he's taken down what a huge play at this point in the game so the inability there to get the two-point conversion sort of leaves the door at least a little bit more ajar and puts the onus now on the kickoff team and the defense to make sure they don't give up a big play that puts them in position to lose especially on this kickoff got to be careful set now to kick this one away and off it goes and that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Eagles offense had to begin their next drive. Critical condition here, obviously. Got to hope to get something quick right and then maybe take that shot deep. And once they do take the big shot, You've got to worry on defense. Of course, no one getting behind the defense and make it an easy throw. But nowadays, it's not just the ball being tipped in the air and people in the end zone in a cluster. It's that guy that's short in the end zone who comes up and ends up making the play because he goes unguarded. So there's a lot to think about if you're playing defense in this situation. We'll see if they can cover all their bases. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. One final try now for Wentz. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end. But they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still... You're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. It's a win for the Redskins as we say so long from FedEx Field.